What's up, Brian Tong here, and welcome to the Apple Buy for everything good and bad inside the world of Apple. It's a pretty quiet news weekend. I mean quiet when the biggest Apple-related story this week involves Apple's international online stores selling Sharp's 32-inch 4K HD LED monitor on their website, a little hint at the display Apple will be offering to pair with its new Mac Pro until they release one of their own. Now, you can buy the Sharp 4K display at other retailers right now, but it only became a bigger story after later on Apple removed the listing. Like I told you, it's been a quiet week, and we're still expecting to see the new Mac Pro sometime around the 16th of December. Now, in Apple TV news, the Big A adds another set of channels to its set-top box, including Watch ABC, that allows subscribers to some cable services to watch content from their local ABC affiliate through Apple TV. Now, this is awesome, so I can make sure I never miss an episode of Scandal. Like, it's so crazy how Olivia and the president, they're like, if you want me, earn me. Well, like I've heard, it's a really good show. Uh, yeah, there are no dudes that watch that show. Yeah, I know. I know that, Mitch. All right, other additions to the Apple TV include financial network Bloomberg, Sony streaming movie and TV app Crackle, and the Korean channel KOR TV, which I can confirm does not play Psy videos in a loop. Gangnam Style. All right, let's talk about some of the things Apple might be working on in the future after the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office published a newly granted Apple patent for a goggle-like video headset that allows someone to view media on the go with a larger immersive view compared to their mobile device's screen. Now, the patent also allows for the possibility of 3D viewing. Now, it was originally filed in May 2008, but we've seen products like Sony's own personal 3D viewer or the Oculus Rift virtual reality headset on the market, and I can't guess why they haven't taken off yet. I mean, it looks so cool to wear and show off to your friends that you're cool too. Now, a cool patent that's also been granted to Apple involves facial recognition tech to control a device like an iPhone or an iMac. What makes it unique is that the face detection would pair that with a known user and then make certain functions or apps or access to information on that device available based on the user it detects. And another patent that we might not see implemented anytime soon is for a unique curved touch sensor. Now, most touch sensor panels like screens are flat and they're difficult to produce because of their thinness. Well, this patent details a curved sensor that would benefit from the increased strength and enhanced viewing properties without warping the surface. Now, it doesn't mean we're seeing a curved iPhone yet, but if they want to take on the Galaxy Round or the LG G Flex, they absolutely could. All right, let's check out the quick bites in. If you're on a Southwest Airlines flight and you can't live without messaging, they're offering the ability to send and receive iMessages for two bucks per day. They already have an $8 per device in-flight Wi-Fi plan for all access, but I can't stand not being able to iMessage during a one hour flight to LA. It's unbearable. All right, Spotify fans will like the latest announcement that you can now use their app on iOS and Android mobile devices for free before, you had to pay $10 a month for access. The only restriction now is that you'll have to shuffle through the songs on your playlist you create, and you can't listen to them in the order you arrange them. And here we go, two fun stories. Have you ever wanted to control your dog with your iPhone or iPad? Well, that's the question Pet Remote is answering with its vibrating 1.7 inch tag that attaches to your dog's collar. All you do is select a command on your iPhone app, and then it sends a vibration that your dog will associate to either sit, go down, or come here. And Pop Secret, you know the popcorn company, might have created the best smelling iOS app of all time with Poptopia after they created the Pop Dongle to work with its game. Now, what you do is you plug it into the audio port of your iOS device and it emits a popcorn smell as you play the game. Each dongle contains 500 to 1,000 sprays, but it won't come cheap. The only way you guys can get it right now is through eBay, and this pop dongle is selling for 160 bucks right now. So, yeah, those two stories made my day. All right, that's going to do it for this week's show. Send me your questions to theapplebite at cnet.com or tweet me at Brian Tong. We're going to do a little Ask Me Anything episode for the holiday break, and we'll feature your questions on that show, and, you know, maybe I'll have some giveaways for you, too. All right, I'm Brian Tong. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time for another bite of the apple.